Well, kids, welcome back to Sunday School. I'm glad you could join us again this week. As you can remember from the previous weeks, we've been talking about creation and all the things God had created. And this week, we're going to learn about how God created people. So first off, I want you to look at this picture right here for this week's lesson. And I want you to look at that picture and tell me some things that you can see on that picture. Do you see the light kind of in the center? Do you see where the water is in the waterfall? Very good. Do you see some trees and some green plants? Yeah, and how about some animals? Do you see some birds? And do you see a lion and a lamb? Good, and next for today, do you see two people? I bet you can tell me what their names are. What are their names? The first two people that God created. I'm not gonna give that away yet. You'll need to listen to our story today to see what their names are if you don't already know. But first, let's start out with our Bible verse for today. The verse for today is, I am wonderfully made. And that's found in Psalm 139, 14. I want you to repeat that with me. I am wonderfully made. And that's Psalm 139, 14. And we're going to have a little fun with that verse. How about we say it in some different kind of ways? How about we say it in a real deep voice? Can we do that together? Let's try that. Are you ready? Say, I am wonderfully made. Good, good. I heard some deep voices there. How about we say it in a high voice? Do you see, see if we can do that? Let's try that. Made. That's kind of a little bit harder, isn't it? Yeah. How about can we say it in a whisper? Let's try that. I am wonderfully made. Good. I barely heard you all that time. Um, how about we say it in a grandpa voice? Can we do that? Say, I am wonderfully made. That's kind of like a grandpa, isn't it? Well, let's say it one more time, kind of in a loud voice, okay? Repeat after me. I am wonderfully made. And that's found in Psalm 139, verse 14. Now, let's get back to our story here about these two people. And these are the first two people that God made in creation. So I want you to grab your Bible. And you remember creation started in the very first book of the Bible in what was that book called? Genesis. That's right. So it's in the Old Testament in the very beginning of our Bible. And we're in Genesis chapter 2. So if you can't find that on your own, have an adult help you find Genesis chapter 2 in the very beginning of your Bible. And I've got my two characters here to help us tell the story. And I want you to listen close to see what their names are and how God created these people. Okay, so we're in Genesis chapter 2. So in the beginning, God created the world. And on the sixth day of creation, God made animals to live on the land. Then God made people. God made the first man from dust on the ground. He called the man Adam. So that was Adam, and he gave life to Adam by breathing into him. I want you to take a deep breath in and let it all the way out. God gave life to Adam by breathing into him, and he placed Adam in the garden to work in it and to take care of it. God decided that Adam should not be alone, 
So he made a woman. And Adam named the woman Eve. So we've got Adam and Eve. And Eve became Adam's helper. God made Adam and Eve to take care of the fish in the water, the birds in the air, and the animals that walk and crawl on the ground or on the land. He gave them the fruit and the trees and the plants to eat, and they lived in the garden together. So Adam and Eve lived in the garden and took care of all the animals. Now, Adam and Eve were the first people that God made. And God made Adam and Eve different from the animals. God made Adam and Eve able to think and to make choices. So that was our story for today. We learned about the first man and the first woman. And their names were Adam and Eve. And God made Adam out of dust and he breathed life into him, and God made Eve, and he made them different from the animals because Adam and Eve were able to think and make choices, and they lived in the garden. Now, let's have a little bit of review here, shall we? I'm gonna make some statements, and I want you to stand up if you think the statement is true, and I want you to sit down if you think the statement is false or make believe, okay? So our first one is God made Adam from Play-Doh. Are you standing up or are you sitting down? You should be sitting down, that is false. Let's see, let's try another one. God made Adam from dust. That's true, so you should be standing up, good. Let's see, God placed Adam at a store to shop. Okay, yep, you should be sitting down. That's false. How about God placed Adam in the garden to take care of it? Very good, you should be standing up. That's true, good. How about God made a woman so Adam would not be alone? Very good, you should be standing up. That's true. Here's another one, Adam named her Eve. Good, you should still be standing up, that's true. Okay, here's another one. God made Adam and Eve to play video games. No, that would be silly, wouldn't it? You should be sitting down, that's false. God made Adam and Eve to take care of creation, to take care of all the animals. Good, you're standing up, that's good, that is true. God created Adam and Eve to take care of the garden and the animals that are in it. One more, God made Adam and Eve able to think and to make choices. Very good, you should be standing up. That's right, God made Adam and Eve and people different from the animals because we can think and make choices. So look back to our picture here and all that God had created. He made all the waters and the light and the plants and the trees and all the animals, the fish, the birds. And today we learned about how God made the people and it was very good. So we've got a little bit of a show for you coming up and I hope you pay attention to that and I hope you enjoy it. Hey, four or five year olds, welcome back to Sunday School. I sure enjoyed Mr. Eric telling us today our Bible story and talking about how God created men and women. Welcome to my home today. I have done a little something a little special here to my house and I have some guests here that I wanna show you all. Do you see some of the things that God may have created in the world? I see a man and a woman and I see animals. In just a few minutes, they are going to do something very special for us. Just a reminder of our Bible verse today. Do you remember our Bible verse today? Our Bible verse today is, I am wonderfully made, and it comes from Psalm 139.14. So enjoy our show.
Dear God, thank you so much for this day. And God, we thank you for your word and everything that it teaches us. And God, we're thankful that we are wonderfully made in your image. We thank you for the earth that you created and the animals and the people on it, Lord. God, be with us this week. Help us serve others and serve you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.